Good morning. Um, this is my, my final opportunity to speak to you about the Student Success uh, Toolbox project. This was a project with four institutional partners, DCU, Maynooth University, DKIT, and IT Sligo. This project has created uh, a suite of digital readiness tools that program teams or institutions can use uh, to facilitate flexible learner transition into higher education, focusing on the early stages of uh, the study life cycle. To list the key outcomes that this project had, we sought to examine the literature in this area. Uh, second, we, we sought to investigate what existing tools were there internationally in this space. Uh, three, we sought to then use that information to uh, create a suite of digital readiness tools that could be shared with the sector. And four, finally, uh, to provide guidance on the use of those tools and disseminate information around those tools and around effective flexible learner transitions uh, as widely as possible. With regard to showing how we have achieved outcomes one and two, last May we released the Lost in Transition report, uh, which detailed both our analysis of the literature and uh, our analysis of the existing tools in use internationally. Um, and we, we've made that report available through multiple channels. In relation to outcome three, we now have our eight uh, digital readiness tools. Uh, which have been produced based on what we learned from our analysis of the literature and the existing tools out there. Um, and importantly, also from feedback obtained from uh, existing flexible learners at uh, key stages in, of tool development. With regard to uh, demonstrating achievement of our fourth project outcome, uh, we have released a, a guide for uh, supporting flexible learner transition through the project website. In order to give those seeking to use the tools information on the tools themselves and uh, key advice on effective uh, flexible learner transition. Uh, we have disseminated information about the project through our project website, through Twitter, and through over 20 different uh, conferences, workshops, uh, and different events. I now want to move swiftly on to the, the impact made by uh, the project, starting with its reach. Uh, we have used our project website to disseminate information relating to uh, the toolbox. The, the website has had good traffic since it was created, uh, with nearly 900 people spending an average of five minutes exploring the website. Uh, in terms of location, we've had people logging on from lots of different countries, the US, the UK, etc. But uh, focusing in on Ireland, since the project's creation, we've had 1,300 hits on the website, with 60% of those involving people exploring multiple pages on, on the website. Um, we've also used the project GitHub page to share uh, six of the tools developed. Our Twitter account has been very useful in disseminating information in that when we were releasing uh, information around events or, or releasing uh, documentation or releasing reports, um, when, uh, when we did that, individuals or large international organizations, when they retweeted or tweeted about those, that was having a great ripple effect for us. For example, the Bold Research Bank uh, tweeted about our Lost in Transition report, and they have 1,800 followers. So it was a way of doing, putting something out there through Twitter and seeing it ripple out into the community. Um, the project uh, has featured in Contact North's online newsletter in their Pockets of Innovation series. Uh, this newsletter has a circulation list of over 11,000. In terms of uh, competitive uh, peer-reviewed awards processes, after presenting at the 2016 uh, IMS Learning Impact Awards last May, uh, the project received an honorable mention. Uh, from a field of 53, uh, we have been selected as a finalist for the 2016 eLearning Excellence Awards. So we will make our final uh, presentation uh, for that in two weeks' time at the European Conference on e-learning. Um, being a finalist uh, means that our uh, submitted case history uh, for the project will be, sub will be published in a book, and that will be an important dissemination for the project. And uh, finally, the project is a recipient of a 2016 uh, Effective Practice Award from the Online Learning Consortium. And this is a particularly 
prestigious award. The Online Learning Consortium is the, the largest US-based uh, institutional and professional leadership organization focused on integrating online education into the mainstream of higher education. Uh, we'll receive that award at the Online Learning Consortium's uh, International Conference, which will have about 2,000 delegates in November, and that includes an invitation to present on the project to the, to the delegates. Um, we have disseminated the, the information relating to the project at as many different events uh, as possible. For example, at these review panel presentations, We've had five uh, poster presentations, including at the National Forum's National Summit for the Enhancement of Teaching and Learning last December. Um, we have uh, 12 conference publications, two project workshops, and so far won awards presentations. Because in three of those categories, we will have more events upcoming uh, between here and the end of the year. Um, the, the, second, uh, the second aspect of REACH that we've been asked to talk about uh, is around dialogue and discourse. And we have saw every opportunity to engage colleagues in, in higher education about the project and about uh, the, the importance of supporting flexible learners' transitions into higher education. And we've done that not just at the more active discussion-based uh, activities like poster presentations and workshops, but at conferences and other events um, even if it had nothing to do with our project, we would end up invariably talking to people about what we were doing and why, why they should be hearing about it. Um, through the dim dissemination events and the dialogue we've engaged in, uh, it, that's had an interesting byproduct in that we have had expressions of interest from a number of international colleagues uh, about them being interested in utilizing the tools. So uh, just three uh, examples of, of colleagues from institutions where that has happened. The University of the South Pacific, Charles Sturt University in Australia and Alberg University in Denmark. There are more, but time. Um, the other important stakeholder group with whom we engaged in dialogue were flexible learners themselves. Uh, during the initial stages of tool development, uh, student feedback influenced the process at two stages. The first was when we had our first storyboards for the tools, and the second was uh, when we had our first prototypes for the tools we got student feedback in on uh, the tool development at those stages. When we then moved on to our pilot evaluation stage for the, for the tools, uh, that involved flexible learners uh, providing feedback on the tools through surveys and focus groups. Uh, this feedback was then used to make final changes to the tools before they were released as OERs to the sector. Uh, there is a document relating to the student feedback from the pilot evaluation stage on the project website. With regard to the impact on uh, teaching and learning practices, uh, staff and the project team, what we can demonstrate are the competencies developed by the project team in the area of developing digital tools, developing digital readiness tools, as evidenced by the, the suite of tools that we have created. The other uh, thing we can demonstrate is the development of competencies relating to developing a socialization strategy and practically implementing that strategy. And I'll talk about that a little bit later in the presentation. The other, the, we can also show impact with regard to uh, increased institutional collaboration, principally through the project itself with the, the four institutions coming together to co-develop the, the tools, um, but also in that uh, colleagues from DCU, IT Tralee and IT Sligo are presenting a joint paper on our transition projects at an international conference uh, next week. In terms of the project's impact on uh, learners and learning, um, this, while this project has been primarily focused on developing tools for the sector rather than directly focusing on learners themselves, uh, we have some early indications of how learners will be positively impacted by use of these tools. As, al as I already said, um, we, we obtain feedback from flexible learners at early stages of the tool design and, and uh, prototype production of the tools, and that feedback was mostly positive. But where we received constructive criticism during those stages, it allowed us to make further changes to the tools before we released them. Um, the other indication that we have that learners will be positively impacted by the effective use of these tools is data we have from the soft pilot of our Head Start Online First Steps to Flexible Study uh, MOOC. Um, this, tool is a, this course is a tool in its own right, but it also brings together customized versions of six of the other tools and is built according to the guidelines uh, that we produced in our online orientation tool. 
Um, our pilot of the MOOC ran from the 15th of August to the 19th of September on a new MOOC platform academy built by Moodle HQ, but it was very much a partnership with us in this instance because this is the first MOOC to run on that new platform. Um, we had 150 people enroll on the course and 50 of those uh, went on to receive a certificate of completion at the end. Um, those selected to take part in this small pilot were made up of prospective learners who were uh, uh, intending to take up flexible learning courses in this academic year and also approximately 70 learners from a German organization, uh, Kieran, uh, they support uh, refugees in uh, accessing higher education. Um, as I said, the, the Head Start Online course incorporates six of the other tools in its structure, along with additional text and video content, uh, Moodle activities, and discussion forums that were designed to try and encourage socialization between, um, between the MOOC participants. The feedback received indicates that a, a course like this that uses the, the, our digital readiness tools has a positive impact on prospective flexible learners. When asked if they felt more prepared to become a flexible learner after taking the course, 12 of 25 respondents agreed that they did and another 12 strongly agreed. Um, the feedback also indicates that the tools do what they were designed to do. Uh, for example, the MOOC participants perceived that the time management tool helped them uh, feel better, uh, better able to manage their time. At the end of the course, uh, eight of 25 respondents agreed that they felt better able to manage their time and another 15 uh, strongly agreed. To return to the impact on the competencies developed by the project team uh, and also talk about the impact on organizational practices and systems, we now have a number of ongoing implementation uh, uh, projects or implementations of the project. Um, colleagues in IT Sligo have done great things uh, with the tools in that they have customized them and presented them to new learners uh, in, an, in an online learner induction course in Moodle, um, which has been designed using uh, the Toolbox Project's online orientation tool. Uh, IT Sligo have also placed these customized tools on their website for new learners. Uh, Maynooth University uh, is, is also developing a website that will house their customized versions of the tools for use with their adult returning to learn, return to learning students. Um, in DCU, besides the creation of the MOOC, um, we have brought together a number of the tools into uh, a Moodle course for our new off-campus students. Uh, you know, there is a need recognized at national and international level and, and emphasized again in the recent uh, action plan for Irish education that we need to bring more flexible learners into higher education. Uh, and when we do that, we don't want to lose them in the first few weeks of their first academic year. So this project has been focused on giving tools to the sector that can be used to try and chip away at those barriers to flexible learners coming in and staying in higher education and going on to be successful. Um, and that, that is our uh, contribution, or that is our impact on, on building a culture of enhancement. Sustainability is a key focus for our project, and that is why we develop the tools as OERs so that they can go on to live and breathe beyond the lifetime of the project. Um, they've been created as OERs with a CCBY Creative Commons license uh, such that they can be shared as widely and, and used by others in as many different ways as possible in order to um, encourage further innovation and development. Um, Finally, uh, to give feedback on the, the project process itself, um, if we were to give one suggestion for change, we put forward for consideration the evaluation model where one evaluator uh, would be assigned to a project for the lifetime of that project so that they can kind of build up a relationship with that uh, project team and maybe take on a kind of a critical friend role as the, as the project evolves uh, or get, gets rolled out. Um, one point for improvement, uh, would be that it would have been beneficial to have the project impact report that uh, uh, that was provided in connection with this presentation at the, the very start of the process uh, so that the design of the project and the criteria in the impact report could have been uh, aligned in the project design. Finally, uh, in our positive feedback, what we really want to emphasize is the fact that 
this 2014 call focused on this key area of transitions in higher education has allowed us to do this project, has allowed this project to exist, has allowed us to try and put useful tools out there into the sector that can be used to facilitate flexible learner transition. Uh, and, and we would like to sincerely thank the National Forum and the, the, the review panel for uh, the opportunity to do this work. Thank you.